Adzen's Test by Brandon Lorick and Zach Mills. The patient is seated while the examiner palpates the radial pulse to get a baseline before the test is performed. The examiner then abducts the patient's shoulder to 30 degrees. The elbow is extended and the examiner externally rotates the humerus while the patient's thumb is pointed outward. While continuing to palpate the radial pulse, the examiner extends the patient's shoulder. The patient then faces towards the side being tested and extends the neck. Positive test. A diminished or absent radial pulse due to the scalene muscles compressing the subclavian artery. This implies thoracic outlet syndrome. Special considerations. This test has a high incidence of false positive findings, so the examiner should record the radial pulse as being reduced rather than recording it as completely diminished. The examiner should also compare bilaterally.